We end tonight with a man who not only witnessed history, he helped make it. 70 years ago this week, Jim Martin was part of the Allied invasion of Normandy, the beginning of the liberation of Europe from the Nazis. He told this story to Dean Reynolds. On a winding road past a stand of sycamores outside his Ohio home, we found Jim Martin, 70 years after his first trip to France. You must have been one of the first Americans in combat in Europe. Uh, among the first groups, yes. They called us the tip of the spear. Jim was a private in the 101st Airborne, one of the paratroopers dropped behind German lines in the hours before the D-Day landings. We wanted to get out of the plane quickly because it was hitting the planes. The planes were blowing up and we wanted to get the hell out of there. They were inviting targets as they drifted toward the ground and the enemy. You're slowly descending through the clouds in a parachute into hostile territory. What was going through your mind? Uh, fascination because of all this fire coming up towards us. Fascination? Yeah, it, it was absolutely fascinating to see all this, these various colored tracers coming up there. Their mission was to keep the Germans from reinforcing their troops on the dunes. Jim and his comrades landed right in the middle of those German reinforcements. That was a slaughterhouse. There was SS all over the place and they just slaughtered us. My colonel was lost, my company commander was lost. But what was supposed to be three days of fighting in Normandy went on for a month. That's the way we were trained, we accepted that. And no matter how many people are there against you, what the odds are, doesn't matter, we're gonna win. Jim went from Normandy to fight in Holland, where he was wounded, from Holland to the Battle of the Bulge in Belgium, and from Belgium to Berchtesgaden, Germany, Adolf Hitler's retreat in the Bavarian Alps. Did you ever think you were gonna die? Sure, every day. How do you get over that? You just have to accept it. If you're gonna worry about dying all the time, you can't fight. Jim is 93 now, one of the few left who can talk firsthand of a time when he says right was right and wrong was wrong and everyone knew the difference. And here's the best part. This week, he's going back to Normandy where he intends to parachute, yes, parachute, onto the same soil he touched seven decades ago. I'm not usually looking for records or anything, but that would give me a great deal of satisfaction. Bon voyage, Jim. Bon voyage. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Xenia, Ohio.